Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Why have I got a Christmas hat on? Why exactly? Yes, well, I thought I'd go through with you all the bits and pieces that I had for Christmas from Lulu and Claire. This doesn't include anything from my dad. Uh, didn't get anything from my dad, actually. <laughs> Except a card uh, or my brother because I didn't get anything from my brother because he he was in isolation. Got a £20 note from my auntie, so that's pretty good. But yeah, I didn't get any Blu-rays or 4Ks because um, they're not really into physical media. So they wouldn't know where to start. But, oh, for crying out loud, I've got a massive sack. Oh, I've heard that before. <laughs> this is from Lou and Claire. Uh, let's roll the titles and I'll explain what we do every year. Right, okay, every year, myself, Lulu and Claire get together a couple of days before Christmas and we have a little Christmas party and we have a present exchange. Um, it's kind of more of a novelty thing. So we have novelty presents and on every present that we do, there's usually a tag. So we write a tag out with a clue and the other person has to guess what that item is sometimes it works really well i think i did really good with the uh the questions this year uh, or the hints and sometimes you're just thinking oh, i'm a, such a dumb shit i can't remember i don't know what it is <coughs> so yes uh lulu and claire do start their christmas shopping very early probably after christmas uh, and by the end of the year you know they pick up little bits and pieces throughout the year if they see something and I end up with about between 20 and 30 presents at the end of uh, at the end of Christmas. Uh, and of course, they give me a, a, a list of things that they're interested in and I see if I can find them. But I never know what I'm going to get from Lulu and Claire because they pick up things from charity shops. You know, you can get some really good stuff in charity shops uh, or discounted stuff in maybe like places like the works things like that but we always joke uh, that a lot of the toys and a lot of the things that they get they find at the local tip <laughs> and that's become a, a a standard joke over the years but anyway we're going to go through so don't expect things like massive 4k box sets or blu-ray players and things like that this is just a fun christmas novelty get together that's doesn't cost a lot and uh, it's just a fun night that we can all have together because uh, some of the stuff that I get is really nice some of the stuff I get is really weird and some of the stuff I get is what the hell were you thinking <laughs> right okay so I've got this massive sack it is heavy so I'm just going to dive through it and we'll bring out one present at a time so I'll bring out one of the biggest ones first oh feels weird doing this in January okay so and I had actually just remembered this one so uh, we need a snack downstairs um the first thing that I've picked out is Jaffa cakes <laughs> Jesus Christ how many Jaffa cakes in there yes this is um oh my god contains 40 Jaffa cakes within four cartons so I actually forgot that these were in there. So at least we've got, me and my dad have got something to snack on. I think it's a metre. I think it's a metre long. But anyway, that's Jaffa Cakes. So at least we've got something to snack on. Uh, what's the date on those? 26th of February. <laughs> we better get started. <laughs> uh, next thing we've got. Um, oh yeah, they found this. The, um, hail to the new world order hail hydra obviously this is marvel uh, and this is hydra knowledge of english required it says down the bottom there uh, and it's basically a board game so you get all your pieces in there uh, it's it's a game where each player has a secret role some players are shield and some are hydra but you won't know which is which. They're lying, finger pointing and persuasion as you deduce who is working with the team and who is not. So that seems quite interesting. Um, I haven't actually got anybody to play with <laughs> that knows anything about Marvel or 
or Hydra, so uh, I might try and uh, persuade Lou and Claire to have a go at that at some point. What else have we got? Okay, next one up. Oh yeah, they found a couple of these tins. You know, I was collecting the collectible tins. I actually do have that one. So, uh, very nice, but what's inside it? I can't remember what's inside it. Oh yeah, it's uh, Build Your Own Starfighter cutouts. I actually didn't get that. I'm pretty sure I didn't there. Yeah, make Your Own X-Wing. I'm pretty sure in my one that I bought, it had... Um, Colouring pencils, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, he says throwing it on the floor. We'll give that one a go. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, what's that? Okay, so next up, uh, I got some men's health body kit, uh, which includes body wash, body scrub, and a body buffer. I've already got a body bu buffer. Look, here's my body buffer. Courtesy of Pete. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll buff myself with Ray. Oh, lovely. Oh, God, so it all comes in wrapped up in black paper. Yeah, very nice. At least I've got some smellies. And um, I don't know what, I can use that tin for something. I don't know what. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, what else have we got down here? Right, next thing up is, oh yes, uh, this is really nice. This is a Back to the Future Take Time Out Essentials. This is body wash and bottle opener. So that's really nice. So uh, let's open that because I haven't opened that yet. It's all sealed. Open it up. I can't. I can't open it. It's got some tape on it. Oh. Okay, I'm interested in the bottle opener actually. Yeah, it's got nice smell in it. But... Oh, okay. Oh, that's heavy. So that's the number plate. Very nice. And then you get. Oh, you smell nice. <laughs> so that is Back to the Future. That's very nice. Bottle and a bottle opener always comes in handy. Ah, uh, what else have we got down here? It's quite a few stuff. Oh, jeez, that's a thick one. Okay, oh yes. Uh, I'm going to have a good look through this. This is Terminator Genesis. This is Resetting the Future. Let's open it up. Oh, I like the cover. Now, yes, I do like terminator genesis actually it's not as bad as people make out honestly so there's a nice cover there look it's got some nice spot gloss it feels like i'm doing a steelbook unboxing look at the spot gloss <laughs> really nice and it's got a forward by arnold sweaty knickers uh yeah it's fantastic look we've got all oh, oh, bits and making of putting the makeup on oh that's fantastic Oh, hello. I just dropped something on the floor. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's just an advert. Anyway, that is Terminator Genesis, the book. Uh, I just realised that I've got to take everything off the floor in a minute. What's this? Uh, this is uh, the unofficial Game of Thrones book of facts. Over 400 facts and trivia for Thrones, for, for throny superfans. Right, let's have one. Let's pick one out. Uh, Macy Williams is actually right-handed, but learned to fence with her left hand. This was because she discovered Ira was left-handed from the books. Can they just re... Could they have just mirrored the image? <laughs> anyway, that's Game of Thrones, so anybody wants to have a, a Game of Thrones quiz, there we go. Oh, shit. this one um oh yes i'm gonna save this one actually because i've got a little bit of a video with me lulu and claire uh which is uh kind of hilarious because i've got a star wars question wrong <laughs> uh what's this one? Oh right okay so let me put those to one side 
because I think that there's about four or five of those. Yeah, let me put that to one side, that to one side. Because they will, can go all up on my Star Wars uh, shelf. Uh, okay, and we got another one, another tin, uh, which I've got this tin actually as well. <laughs> so uh, but yeah, this one's got a colouring books and shit like that in it. So two Star Wars tins that I've uh, unfortunately I've already got. And then we have, this is quite interesting. This is the ultimate 80s movies. So this is celebrating the decade's greatest films from Aliens to Wall Street. So I'm going to have a good look at that. Lots and lots of lovely 80s stuff in it. Fabulous. Oh, God. Sean Connery. <laughs> oh, the bag's getting lighter. That's good. And then we have... <laughs> yeah. Now, you know I said that we'll get some good stuff and get some weird stuff and get some... What the... What you thinking? I've got some Bosom Buddy... Drink, mate. Drink markers. <laughs> uh, I didn't know what the hell they were, but apparently you put them in the in your cup or in your glass, it, and you fill it up, or it tells you where you've you've drunk up to. Yeah. Anyway, six scantily clad women. That's not bad. Uh, next one out is, this is going to come in handy because I like these types of books. This is a Star Wars diary, well, uh, notepad more like, nice uh, Vader image on there, on the back, and uh, some Stormtroopers, and lots of lovely lined writing. So I already have a couple of other books, but you can never have too many notebooks. So that's really good. Now let's dig, dig, dig down deep. And then we have Spud Gun. I thought he was a character in bottom. <laughs> one potato or two? Two? No, one. <laughs> Classic potato pistol. I told you some of this stuff is shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. But uh, yeah, we haven't got any potatoes, I don't think, downstairs. But uh, anyway, that's a, uh, a a spud gun. In case I need to use a gun for um, some video. I don't know what video. Okay, let's have it up on my lap. Because now it's quite light. Next up we have a Star Wars Stormtrooper pen. From Disney. Very nice. Oh yeah, that forms one of those as well. And that forms one of those as well. So let's put that to one side. I'll explain what these are in a minute. Uh, right, last one I think in the bottom of the bag. Or is it, yeah. Is that, oh, it feels heavy. Oh no, it's got trapped. There it is. Trapped like a bit of wind. That's it. And then we've got a nice little tag up the top there. Uh, this was actually from a couple of years ago. This little note from Lulu and Claire says, uh, To Big Paulie, the YouTube sensation. <laughs> I've subscribed to your channel under an alias. Uh, you're on the naughty list. You're on the naughty but nice list this year. Wink. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. Love from Santa. Oh yes, baby. Uh, I got a Be More Vader. I didn't think I had this actually, uh, and I went through the books that I've got, and it is one that I've already got actually. So sorry, Lou. Sorry, Claire. <laughs> but we got a backup anyway. Right. Okay. So I've got a lot of these weird-looking contraptions, these boxes, like gift boxes, and even a ring gift box. Now, these are just general gift boxes that they just picked up from various charity shops just to house whatever's inside. Um, so look, this one is Daniels of Bromley, 19 Market Square, Bromley. So obviously it's a, um, a jeweller's. And then inside, 
<laughs> for little Star Wars Lego figures. So we have we have a stormtrooper, and I'm going to actually I'm going to actually we don't need the boxes. I'm going to put these uh, on display uh, alongside my Star Wars steel books. I will show you at the end of the video with them all lined up. Then we have a ring. I do. And then we have, uh, I believe this is, I believe that's the Mandalorian. Oh, I could be wrong. Or is it Django? Don't think it's Boba Fett because it's grey. I think it's, I think it's Django maybe. Anyway, that's that one. Then we have this one from a company called Past Times. Well, there used to be a Past Times in Ashford actually. This is a little cool one. Actually, he's fallen out. There's a little thing that he needs to sit on. There we go. There you can see. <laughs> oh, bless. Yes, it's a little Grogu. He's going to roll all over the place, isn't he? And then we have another one from past times. Uh, oh, then now this one is Boba. So that one's Boba Fett, and he's got a little cloth cape as well. So yeah, he can go on the shelf. And then the last one, which is a nice big one like that. Oh, and this, this is uh, something completely different. So this is a pin badge. So this is a Game of Thrones pin badge. So that's very nice. Awesome. And they did that for a like, little display, you know, just put a bit of torn up paper inside just to make a like, like a little novelty present there we go so that is it that is uh well pretty much everything i got i'm gonna start on the jaffa cakes in a minute <laughs> i'll put the lego figures up with the star wars uh but one of the other things that i got was a star wars trivia card game um, and we had about a ten. We had about ten minutes to pull a couple of these cards out and to qu quiz each other on our knowledge of Star Wars. So I uh, asked Lou and Claire a couple of questions, uh, and uh, they asked me more questions. And I got a really obvious one wrong. I don't know how I got it wrong. I don't know who I was thinking of, but it'll be in the video. So we're going to show that. I'm going to show that video in a minute. So yes, there we go. So they are my little knick-knack novelty gifts from Lulu and Claire. As I say, it's it's not supposed to be expensive gifts. It's not supposed to be, you know, Blu-rays and 4Ks and stuff like that and CDs. Because like Lou says, what do you get the man that's got everything? <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. And uh, it's fun to find out what you get each year. Because uh, you never know. Uh, some of the stuff is really good. And I've used in the cinema room here. And um, you can't go wrong with a metre of Jaffa cakes. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. I'm going to stick the video in uh, in a moment of our little Star Wars quiz. So watch that through uh, and see if you can get the questions right yourself. Uh, and um, right at the very end, there'll be just a little clip of a video of my little Lego figures uh, against my Star Wars steelbook. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one very soon. Bye! on your Star Wars trivia. Which Jedi Master says, judge me by my size, do you? Yoda. Correct. Ding. True or false? At the end of episode four, A New Hope, Luke Skywalker receives a second medal from Princess Leia. Correct. True. I had to think then, did Han get it first or did Luke get it first? But no one gave one to Chewie. <laughs> Who 
is the first main character to speak in episode two, Attack of the Clones. Oh my lord. Uh, <laughs> that's my least watched Star Wars film. The first main character. Uh -huh. Um. Oh my lord. Oh, I can give you, it's, it's, it's a multiple choice. Okay, was it Jar Jar Binks? Was it C-3PO? Or was it Padme Amidala? I'm going to go with C-3PO. No. Uh -uh. Oh shit. It was Padme Amidala. I don't know Star Wars. Does it say what she said? No. Okay. It just says that's what she did. I think I need to watch that film a few more times then. <laughs> I picked the wrong card because I can't even pronounce anything on it. Give it a well, go. I'm going to give it a crack. So, how is Queen Amidala? Amidala. Sorry. Amidala, yeah. Uh, secretly protected during times of danger. Um, she has a uh, a clone. Well, not a clone, but she has a protect a bodyguard that pretends to be her. Oh, protector. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Handmaidens. Handmaidens. <laughs> okay, question two. True or false? The Rebels' Echo Base is located on the ice planet of Mustafa. That's false. Correct. Ding! Ding! <laughs> uh, question three. Who was Luke Skywalker's mother? This is a multiple choice, so... Beru Lars, uh, Padme Amidala, or Shmi Skywalker? That would be uh, Padme. Ding! <laughs> so far he's only had two, not correct. He kind of yeah. just missed out the handmade bit, but he kind of got it. But, um, he's only totally missed out the Padme as being the first one there. Okay. So, speak. that's four out of six. Yeah. All right, well done. One more. Let's do one more card each week. <laughs> we're saying that's good. I think that's, good. I think that's really that's good. I'm very more. impressed. If you were to quiz me on Harry Potter, I might actually not be able to get any of these, and I consider myself a big fan. Right. Who repaired C-3PO but managed to fit his head on backwards? Uh, that is Chewbacca. Correct. True or false? Darth Vader is the father of Princess Leia. Okay, even I know this one. <laughs> that's a lot of old bollocks. True or false? Darth Vader is the father of Princess Leia. False. It's true, because they're brother and sister, you dick <laughs> How do I know that? But you do. <laughs> I was testing you. No, you weren't. You just went with the of your father and went. No, he's Luke's father, but we've got the Princess Leia. Oh, sister. no. How do I know this? How do I know this? I haven't even watched a single Star, Star Trek, a single Star Wars film from beginning to end. And even I know this one. Oh. I know. No, you didn't. You I did. No, you did. I did. <laughs> I'm just very tired at the moment. Yeah, right. No, it's Christmas. Give him the gift of making him feel better. <laughs> <laughs> no. The fact that I managed to guess that one right without even needing to look at the answer. Right. Moving yeah. on. <laughs> which, which Sith? Sith? Sith, Sith. Lord? Which Sith? Lord? <laughs> Is that the fourth or the fifth Lord? <laughs> Fifth of what? Claire, you have to read it! I'm not going to read it! What should I say? I've got no pressure to say it properly now. Okay, which Sith Lord uses a. <laughs> oh, Jesus, a tongue twister! Which Sith Lord uses a Sith speed up to soar towards the Queen's starship on Tatooine? Tatooine. 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 Is it Darth Maul, Darth Vader, or Darth Sid Sidious? That would be old Maulie. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> that was a proper tongue twister. That was. Sid Lord Sid Speeder saw Starship. Right. <laughs> there we go then. Do you want to do another one? Do another one? Oh. Oh, then, then we can call it quick. Right. Last, yeah, last got, got to do one more for making up for getting Darth Vader wrong. I'm expecting all three in this one. <laughs> right, we're going to have full house now. So question one. Which spaceship fires concussion missiles into the Death Star's main reactor 
to destroy it in episode six, Return of the Jedi? Millennium Falcon. Bing! Correct. <laughs> okay, question two, true or false? Ben Kenobi single-handedly disables a Death Star's tractor beam. True. Correct. <laughs> Question three. What is the name of Anakin Skywalker's mother? Is it Padme, Baru, or Shmi? Shmi. Bing! Full house! <laughs> Yay. Yay! And that concludes our Star Wars quiz. Oh, hold on. Hold on. You'll have to quiz us. Let's see if we can at least guess. Oh, Star Wars? Yeah, just one question each. Let's see how good we are at guessing. Mm. Right. Here we go. Star Wars quiz. Yes, we're all about Star Wars. Give it to us. Here we go. We're not all about Star Wars. Okay. <clears throat> it's the same one that you just did for me. <laughs> Take two. Okie dokie. Uh, question one. Who says that's no moon? It's a space station. Oh, no, you don't choice. have a multiple choice. Oh my god, so I'm gonna say... That's no moon, that's a space station. Well, I only know... No, you can it's too big question. to be a space station. Okay, I'm going to say that the only character I know that BB could possibly eight. fly into... that flies one of these jets and might fly into a space station is Han Solo, so I'm going to say Han Solo. I'm going to say BB-8. <clears throat> Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh. Oh, if, you'd have said, that was... if you'd have said the boy is dangerous, we can all see it, why can't you? I don't oh. know if that was... That was Alec Guinness, Guinness okay. in episode four. Oh, well, I don't even know. Oh, how did we not get that? <laughs> oh, I don't know, but... Question two. True or false? Darth Vader is the first character to speak in episode four, A New Hope. I'm I haven't even with... seen the film. That's the, ver that's the original Star Wars, the very with... first one. I'll go with false. Going true. True. <laughs> uh, now you have a multiple choice one. What species is Jar Jar Binks? Is he uh, a Dathom a, a Dathomirian, a Verk, or a Gungan? He's a Jar Jar Binks. Misa got floppy ears and shit. He's a. <laughs> Second one, a verb. Oh, I was going to say the same. I was going to say the same. No, he's actually a gungan. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. At least I did. Yay. I've answered two questions. Well, even, even, I, I answered the one about true about him without even knowing. Cause You're I never going to live that down, Mr. Uh, uh, and, and more importantly, the one that you did get right was Darth Vader. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> that concludes. But that was a booty booty chance, so. That concludes our Star Wars trivia game.